So now um, we're going to talk a little bit about the Paralight and the new um, addition I've got to the Paralight. So this is Scott lying down, relaxing. He's got the Paralight on his abdomen, but he's also got a flashing red nose. How does that feel, Scott? Pretty good. That's great. Well, this whole idea comes from here, which is the nasal unit that we use with the Neuralight. So you, you can see here in frame uh, the Ashen Light, and the Neuralight is part of that. It's a uh, hundred programs for things like um, addiction, depression, or, or all kinds of things that are very specific research-based programs. But to increase neuroplasticity, which is the goal of the Neuralite, it's important to have an, enough mitochondrial function. And mitochondrial uh, dysfunction is the underlying causative factor between all the degenerative diseases like cancer and um, diabetes and everything. In fact, they found that the one common denominator between every cancer cell, all of them, they, they don't have the same genetic changes at all. In fact, some of them have no genetic problems, but they all have low mitochondrial function. And as the mitochondria die off, and it's all lifestyle related, you know, it's to do with the diet and lifestyle. So, the Chinese um, work with this device. It was originally a Russian one. This is a really great one because it's got uh, two lasers. They're five milliwatt, uh, 650 nanometer laser. And uh, a friend of mine who, who loves the Paralight said, you know, you should try making the nasal run from the Paralight. The Paralight um, what the Pyrolite does is it super pulses. Um, you may possibly be able to see the LEDs flashing it's a bit bright in here, but they're all flashing and the magnetic is, uh, pulse is going the same 40 hertz, 8 hertz, 2 hertz, um, biologically beneficial frequencies. Um, so, Right now, Scott has that going on into his abdomen, like I showed you, and also into his nose. The way the nasal light works is that all the blood comes very close to the surface uh, at a mucosal membrane, so I guess you could stick it up your butt, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't really say that. Uh, but the nose is a really good access point. And um, so the entire blood, probably within a minute or something, has been exposed to the laser light at that frequency. So one of the obvious things it does is it decoagulates red blood cells. That means more oxygen is available because the whole surface of the RBCs is then separate and present. Hemoglobin works in the membrane of the RBC and then takes it to the lungs and from the lungs to the cells. So, I know from my previous work with the Ashen Light in particular that the body responds very, very well to pulse systems. And the, actually, the, these, as they're flashing inside, Scott here, only on for 16% of the time. So it's a particular pattern I'm using that has all those frequencies in. And because of that, the power usage is very low. So it's actually running cold. If you tried sticking 12 volts in constantly, it would burn out in no time and die. Now, so the power is actually, the aggregate total power is much less but it's ten times more effective because of the passing. But you've been lying here very patiently. Scott, what are you feeling at the moment? My mind does feel more clear. Um, I feel... Yeah, I feel, I feel some clarity. Um, I do feel something. 
Mm. Well, the clarity makes sense because the oxygen your blood needs is getting there, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. Secondly, um, it's actually pulsing in through the back of the nose. There's a very, the thinnest part of the cranial bone is there. So it goes into the hypothalamus, mm -hmm. and probably at this rate of pulsing, it's actually getting to the pituitary. So it's going to be balancing out your hormones. So if you're feeling calm and clear, I think that's a hormonal effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I feel. Great. Uh, calm and clear. Like, really good. Well, I wasn't using this nasal light. I tried it a few times, it didn't really feel to me. Uh, but I knew it worked, because I've seen it work with people who, who have low mitochondrial function. Um, but I love using this. We had an acupuncture needle that Chris had put in here with the oscilloscope lead. And the induced voltage inside the body with the pad, when the pad was on, 50 volts. Take the pad off, it's about 5 volts, so it's like 10 to 1. Put the nasal light in, and it went up 75 volts. So it's really making the body much more conductive. Infrared uh, charges structured water. So um, I've got the video, I'll be posting it on the website quite soon. What we're seeing is that if electricity is conducted in the body, that means energy. And if you have more energy, you function better. Young people have a lot more energy than older people. So there we are. Thank you. Thanks for being, giving us your very first uh, experience with it. Now you've got, you'll have it at home, so it'll be part of your um, logging, I think. <laughs>